Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. I am continuing to celebrate my birthday. It's like the birthday that never ends and it wasn't even a big birthday. But I'm getting together with my ladies who lunch group, the lunch ladies we call ourselves. And there's like six or seven of us that are meeting for lunch and I'm late because we had to take Rowdy to the vet. He has a tummy ache. So what's going on with him? Anyway, I'm walking into our place. Here we are and here are my ladies. At least some of them. So I'm not the only one that's late. Hi! Hello! Oh! Presents! Yay! Hi! Yes, I come armed with camera. We are heading out to meet a really old friend of ours for dinner and drinks on a Monday night even. But I want it, and I don't want to do a whole birthday haul. I, I just, I don't like, I don't like personally doing that, but I did want to show you one thing I got from one of my friends at lunch. Look at this shirt. I just want to drink coffee and pet my dog. How funny is that? How perfect of a shirt is that for me? I love it. So I got lots of really, really sweet, sweet things from sweet, sweet friends. Here's all my bags. And um, they know how much I love them. I don't need to show up my stuff. We are heading out. I will see you guys there. I'm gonna try and vlog. They are one of the first couples that we met when we first moved to Texas. And we're checking out a new wine bar down at the Historic Pearl Brewery that I don't know the name of. But I know where it is, so that'll be cool. And um, yeah, I've known them. God, I've known them 20, has it been 20 years? Yeah, wow, it's crazy, time flies. Yeah. Hey, we're at High Street, where are we? High Street Wine Bar, we have friends. And they brought out the coolest plate, you gotta see this. I don't even know what's on there. There's elk somewhere in here. Do we know which one is the elk? I don't know. We're not, I don't wanna know, I'm just gonna eat it. We're not gonna ask, we're just gonna eat it. And I have my Moscata. And it's a school, and it's a school night. Oh, she's got the... It's video. Real time, it's real time. high tech. You can keep posing. Oh, gosh. She's yeah. like social media. Hang on. Look at you pose. Oh, yeah. You wanna... Oh! Hey, now watch. You can find you. We're off at our local UPS store. We're off to our local UPS store to get a power of attorney notarized. Every time we go out of town, if we're leaving Shane alone, not alone, but with friends, we get a power of attorney signed, which gives them the power to make medical decisions, get them admitted to a hospital, that kind of thing, because God forbid anything happens, he breaks a leg or whatever. Um, whoever's watching him can't make any medical decisions, and we're two states away. Two states? Something like that, three states. So it's a pretty simple thing to do, and you just go to like a bank or UPS store, pay like five bucks, get it notarized, and that way, God forbid there's an emergency, you're covered. So highly recommend that, even if it's a family member watching, if they don't, aren't a guardian. So off we go. Got my nails done, I had them trimmed down quite a bit. Focus. And I'm pretty, it's a Zoya polish, I'm pretty sure it's Jolie, Jolie, but the label fell off, so I'm not entirely sure, but I'm 98% sure it's Jolie. And then I am at this little shopping area, not too far from my house, and, well, Eddie Borrower is right there, but White House Black Market is there, and the loft is just down there. I don't know if you can see the sign. And I do this to myself every year. I've been invited to the Reward Style Conference again. Yay, me. And I pretty much have my outfits planned, and then I start second-guessing myself, and I start getting nervous, um, because, like, everyone that gets invited to this is a fashion blogger except me. And um, I just, I do this to myself every year. Do I lock the door? Yes. So I'm just gonna pop in and see what they have. And also, it's parents weekend. Um, ooh, my shirt's untucked. It's parents weekend at Ole Miss. We're leaving in, on Friday. And I just wanna see if there's a couple things maybe to wear because the weather's changed. It's gonna be 39, oh, it's cold. It's gonna be 39 degrees there. So now I don't know what to wear. Look at how big this stuff is though. Can't wear this, but such cute spring stuff. Oh my gosh, look at this color. It's so fun. Look at that purse. That purse is adorable. This is not what I came for. Dang it, but oh, and everything's on sale. I'm not gonna, I'm just looking. I'm just looking. <gasps> look at this shirt. Oh. Good, how are you 
doing? Look at this shirt. It's so pretty. Wow. What are we looking at? My new dishwasher. Rowdy, what do you think? He's like, meh. Were there dishes still in the old one? Everything's not. There's nothing there. Oh, look, it still has a sticker. Do we have to take the sticker off? No, they no. Okay. Oh, he ran it. Oh, he just did a test cycle. So, yeah. I just put dishes in. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Rowdy? Yeah. What do you do the uh, silver war that's on the side there? I guess, I guess so. Then, then Can have... I move it? I don't think so. Hmm. That's fine. Rowdy. And you know, it's kind of a different drive. This Bosch has like a... Uh, Steam remote. heat. Interesting. And, uh, and, and then, the I don't know how this works. Times. Okay, but... <laughs> Woo! There you go. Okay. Do I do both of them? This I is the... I don't think so. That's if you add like an extra like... The rinse agent. I don't think we're doing that right. Yeah, we are. No, we no, no you do. You always do a rinse station, honey. But that you do. Yes, you do. Never mind. I'll explain this later. Rowdy, you bumped me. Very shiny. All right. Gosh. Rowdy, are you interested by the... Whoa, extreme nose close up. So how long is it appropriate to keep your birthday cards up? <laughs> Should I take them down? It's been a week tomorrow. It'll be, it'll be a week tomorrow. I guess I can take them down now. My balloons are still going strong. All right. You guys are not impressed, huh? Hey guys, happy Thursday. So I'm in a different car than I normally am in. I'm getting my hair done and it's a divide and conquer kind of day. Normally, um, this is Rowdy's graduation day from puppy kindergarten session two, but I scheduled myself to get my hair done right now and we all know nothing comes between mama and her hair appointment because it's like a three month wait list to get in to see my person. And I tried to reschedule, but this is also the weekend of five proms in town. There's nothing to reschedule, and we have a dinner tonight, and we're going out of town at O Dark Hundred tomorrow to go visit Jake, and I want my hair to look nice. So Michael took my car, the big old Navigator, to put Rowdy in, and I took his car, which is a Lexus RCF. Everybody always asks. It's it's a nice car, but it's nothing like the the um, guesses in the comments sometimes crack me up. It's not a Ferrari. Um, but so I'm sitting here, my appointment's in two minutes. I don't know how to turn off the car. So I'm looking at the, like where, I've never, I should say, I've never, he's had this car, not a year, less than a year. I can't remember when he got this thing. I've never driven, he's never let me driven it, driven it, drive it. And he stood on the driveway while I was pulling out. And he's like, remember, it has 500 horsepower. Be careful. So just to like mess with him, I peeled out of the driveway. <laughs> Anyway, um, how do I turn the damn thing off? Anybody see? Where is the button? But ah, okay. Here we go. Yay! We are in Fredericksburg, Texas. It is a German town. Lots of little German towns in the hill country. And there's things like Opas, smoked meats. Oops, went by that way. And. Uh, cute um, lots of German influence still here and uh, like Hauptstrasse I think that means Main Street I don't really speak German so I'm guessing but um, we have a meeting up here a dinner meeting up here it's about an hour away from our house so it's a bit of a drive but in Texas it's not really a big deal it's really pretty it's a great adventure, it's a great adventure. so Mike and I are just leaving a uh, dinner that I was telling you about and we sat at a table with a most amazing man I've ever met in my entire life. I don't want to wash my hand. I shook his hand. I want his autograph. 92 years old. I wish I'd taken my picture crazy, with him. He's 92 years old. He flew B-17 bombers in World War II. He was awarded, I had to look it up. I want to get this right. The Distinguished Flying Cross and was awarded the French Legion, Legion of Honor. He's a Chevalier. He was knighted by the French. He's an American hero. He's 92 years old. He was the coolest guy I have ever, I mean, that's like, I can't even describe. He's a hero. I mean, I asked him what it was like to be knighted by the French and he said, well, it's the prettiest medal I've got. It's nicer than the ones the Americans gave me. Really? He's from a little town in the middle of the hill country in Texas and he's just the most down to earth, sweetest man. Good morning from San Antonio International Airport. What makes this international? Mexico. Mexico, of course. Um, hi, it's really early. I had maybe five hours of sleep. 
We are on our way to Memphis, and from there we drive to Oxford, Mississippi, because we're going to see our baby. You don't call him that, do you? I don't call him baby, no. No. But I do say hotty toddy to him every time I see him. That must make him crazy. I know that lady over there, too. We're just laughing because only in San Antonio can you go to the airport and see people you know. So our neighbor is right there. We've got to say hi to her. And then uh, <clears throat> we're standing in line at Dunkin' Donuts. Why do they make their coffee like nuclear radioactive hot? I can't drink this. Um, and Bruce Bowen, recent ex San Antonio Spur basketball player, was standing right, fairly recent, he's standing right next to me. He's very tall. Hey! We are in Mississippi. We have about 30 minutes for check-in, so I'm gonna wander around the hotel and you're gonna wander around with me. It's so pretty. Well, I think it is. I've walked about 10 feet in, so look at these. We're in the lobby. just keeps going. <gasps> Look at this room. Oh, this is the library. I love this rug. Wow. We can hang out here. Oh, there's, oh, here's the bar. Nice. Do they have food? Oh, honey, look what's on the TV. Mm-hmm. Maybe we should sit outside. For sure. It's a beautiful day. Sorry. No, you're fine. Yeah. Is there food available? Yes, I'll be back back with oh, menus and water sports. Thank yeah. you so much. Michael is choosing to not watch the Masters. We're going to go sit outside. You have got to see this room. Forgive the lighting. First of all, blue door. How cool is this door? All right, let's take a walk. Here is the mirror. And why did it not charge this? That stinks. There, uh, there, there she blows. There we go. Toilet room, lovely. And then, hello, look at this. Okay, so really cool tub that, hello, Michael, you can see in over there. That's yeah, gonna be cool. So cool. Wow, okay, I've never then. I've seen that before. That is so wild. The Here's the king size bed. So Note cool. the lack of dogs in the bed. It's definitely an adult. It's adult, <laughs> very adult. Lovely little room. sitting area, nice little things over there. So awesome. Okay, we're gonna do the whole vlog for the weekend on my phone because the backup battery never charged. Anyway, let's finish the rest of the room. There is the desk area. We have a little balcony. I don't think you can go out there. You can't. Lovely trees. Yep, little sitting area. Oh look my at gosh. Hey, look at this. What? This is a uh, note. Oh my gosh. It has personalized oh my gosh. stationery. Check for this us. out. So it has the letterhead With as you get, stationery. but it personalized our stationery. In residence, April In 7th residence, night. April 7th. That's <gasps> cool. That is really cool. Oh my cool. gosh, that's so cool. And I see there's a note here. Oh no, it just is when the private dining is. Yeah, that is so cool. Man. That is too cool. I'd like to write a note to We're just taking that. Right. And there's the view it's back into the, um, into the bathroom. I'm gonna go um, shopping for the shop's closed, and then I need to change for the barbecue. Maybe it's not so bad to have the cell phone instead of a vlog camera. It'll be a little less obvious that I'm vlogging if I'm holding a phone. The sound's just not as good, it's muffled. I know this, sorry guys, but it is what it is. All right, I'm off to the shops, yay. We're on the square, pretty mellow. Oh, pretty busy, for so the game. Yeah. yeah. Here we are, sorry, can get out of your way. The old courthouse. And there's a very famous, very old, might be the oldest department store in the South, Nelson's, 1839. 
and there's some stores we just came out of. Michael and Shane got some stuff. And there we go. We're going to do a little more shopping and then Jake's going to meet us back at the hotel. And then we're going to go back to his attorney house for a little barbecue. Our robes have been laid out, wow. our slippers have been laid out, no and they gave us a little, little I bottle of water I feel like we've had turned down at each places. side, and they've turned down our bed, and, and they put our little nightstands on dim. I love it. Sorry we didn't film at the um, uh, family barbecue at the fraternity, but... Um, I think I told you in last week's vlog or when Jake was home for spring break that he asked that we not do that. He just want to be a normal kid. So I didn't and I probably won't for most of the weekend, at least when Jake is around. But I'll try to get him in here a little bit. Anyway, I'm going to sleep. I am dead tired. It is, there's no clock. Oh, 1030. I've been up since 515. So I'm going to call it a day. Okay, breakfast time in the hotel. I'm trying to be incognito. This is their idea of avocado toast. Look how gorgeous that is. And Michael's having eggs benedict. It's beautiful. And here's a quick sneaky peek at the dining room. Sure. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, we're coming back for dinner time. We are in a golf cart getting belayed over to the uh, to the campus. This is the coolest golf cart I've ever, ever been in. So we're going from the hotel um, over to the, to the campus. Many, you got, you have one of these or two of these. This is so funny. Cool. And then you got one of the Suburbans. This is perfect. I feel like it's kind of like Cinderella's chariot. Cinderella's pumpkin. Because it's got the zipper, the plastic side. How far have y'all taken this, this thing? Funny. We are on a main the street. Like we're on the road. Got, uh, I've only taken it as far as the... Uh, Baseball stadium? Okay. All right. Oh, we went all over campus last night yeah, again. Yeah, for a bump. Look how pretty this is. We took it last night and they dropped us off in front of my son's fraternity dance. Oh, really? That was he pretty just about deal. died yeah, of embarrassment. The, it was great. The pavilion to the front row. Imagine rolling up in front of your fraternity house and this mm -hmm. thing. We did it. Do they like it? They uh, loved it. He was not thrilled. He was a little embarrassed, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but he got we over it. It was, it was cool. up with my men folk and we are walking to the baseball game look it's Jake and uh, we're just walking from the hotel down to campus and you have to see some of the beautiful houses here we go did y'all see what castle hall is and then you can yeah, see how pretty. we do this right there uh, so that's empty I got one more left right here for you Jake Jake has discovered the joys of escargot. This little thing right here, that's the escargot, and that's the basil, pesto, pesto whatever. Pesto. Yeah. Pesto is basil. And you can just kind of mix it in there. It's awesome, right? Yep. This is the last decadent meal of the weekend. I have eggs benedict on artichoke. Thank you. I don't know what Michael has. Some other version of oh yeah, eggs benedict, eggs benedict with, with a filet mignon, mignon, mignon. And Jake got uh, steak and eggs. And I managed to get some cheese grits in there. Hey, this is decadent with There's the my boy. <laughs> You're so handsome. And the dining room is so. 
very New Orleans. I don't know if you can see the squirrel work over there, but it's very pretty. Okay, driving back, we're gonna visit some with some friends. Look at this sign. Graceland. Look where we are. We're <laughs> <We're> burning. <laughs> This is probably as close as we're getting. We just uh, had we're lunch. We're just doing a quickie. That sounded really good. I mean, uh, a quick look-see. Next time around, we'll go in and We just had the most fabulous lunch with our friends, Anthony and Claire, and we forgot to vlog the whole thing. But we have a little time to kill, so Michael dragged me to Graceland, and we're probably not gonna, gonna get to we Graceland. We're just in the little... We're at like the ticket booth. Area. Oh, and it's windy. So we're gonna walk around the museum. It's too windy. We're gonna walk around the museum ticket area, but we don't have time to go to the actual house. <coughs> so, stop it. So we'll see what there is to see here. This is the second time we've gotten to the ticket area in 25 years, and I've never been inside this freaking house. That's true, we went 25 years ago. We did. You and I. We did, tour, the ultimate VIP tour. It's, oh my God, it's $160. Oh, it's gotta be good, we're doing Holy, it. No, we're not, that's crazy. We're not, we're not. God, we're on his airplane. Look at the gold-plated sink. That's just wrong. Look at his clothes and his people on the aircraft. His sweatsuit. Let me see him that well. <coughs> All right. It's very dated. Oh my gosh. This is hysterical. I do actually. I mean, there's a lot of history associated with his genre of music, man. He created the sound, he made it mainstream, he took the blues and made it mainstream. It is 12:15. Whew! <coughs> we literally just walked in the house. I am dead. <coughs> and can you believe this? What are the balloons. What are those? I have no words because my brain is too tired to put full words together. I'm going to bed. I am going to force myself to wash my face and I'm just going to fall into bed. My throat hurts. I am so tired. I had the best weekend. I miss my son. I miss the other son that is upstairs somewhere I haven't seen since Thursday morning. I'm going to call it a vlog. Thank you so much for hanging with my family. Sorry the last Friday, Saturday, Sunday, three days I've been filmed on an iPhone, but there you go. And, um, yeah, I got so cold in the airport, I dug out my sweatshirt fleecy thing and put it back on in Houston Airport. Why do they keep it so cold? Anyway, sorry, I don't know, babbling. Good night. I love you guys. I will see you in the next vlog. I will see you in videos during the week. And um, I'll see you all over the place. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. But I'm going to go see my pillow now. I'm out. Good night. Bye.